Titanfall fans have gone insane. Elon Musk's test stream on X is a total buggy mess and a very important story about cats. I'm Ash Dixon and this is Jinx News. If you're a fan of psychology and want to see how desperation and despair can manifest itself into cold hard delusion, then I can only point you over to the Titanfall subreddit. You see, they've been begging for a follow up to Titanfall 2 for quite some time and even to this day refuse to shut up about it. And it's understandable, the gameplay feels great, the movement is slick and you get to blast things as a big old mech. And it's been a particularly painful process for them as Titanfall is basically the neglected child of Respawn who clearly favour younger brother Apex Legends who keeps bringing in mummy and daddy that sweet money. Well, all hope had essentially been snuffed out up until a couple of months ago when Titanfall 2 got a series of small updates just addressing some server issues and old bugs. And that led to a resurgence of players enjoying the game and once again fans of the franchise dare to dream, but in the most insane way possible. You see, many of them believe Respawn are drip feeding them hints through obscure references and easter eggs and when I say obscure, I mean obscure. And a prime example of the delirium comes in the form of this Reddit post. The title reads, Ah ha ha ha! The new mode is a reference to the third song of a Red Hot Chili Peppers album. I can't take it anymore. Whew. Okay, let's take a breath and try and unpack that one for a second, especially as it's sitting on the top of the subreddit with 5.4 thousand upvotes. Basically, Respawn have refreshed the game's featured playlists with a game mode, The Other Side. Well, players have linked that to the Red Hot Chili Peppers song of the same name. Why is that significant? Well, it's the third single from the studio album Californication. Surely this is a hint at a third game, right? But it doesn't stop there, oh no. Californication is their seventh studio album. And do you know what takes place later this month? The seventh anniversary of Titanfall 2. Now that can't just be a coincidence. And luckily Reddit users are reacting to the revelations in a calm and controlled way. Now, funnily enough, other side is actually track four of Californication. It just so happens to be the third single from the album. But still, let's not let logic get in the way here. Now, the 28th of October marks the seventh anniversary of Titanfall 2. That's the date everyone is expecting an official announcement on the existence of Titanfall 3. And considering the current mental state of fans, for the love of God, I hope it happens. It's looking like Naughty Dog are the latest devs to be hit by layoffs. Yep, they're joining Sega, Team 17 and Epic by cutting costs, with at least 25 developers being hit as part of the downsizing. All are contract workers from departments ranging from art to production, but quality assurance has been hit the hardest. Both remaining employees and laid off staff are allegedly being pressured to keep the news quiet, which is more than a little cheeky as unlike Epic, Naughty Dog are offering zero severance packages. Contracts will just run until the end of the month. Rumours are swirling that the affected developers may be working on the Last of Us multiplayer project, which initially started years ago as an add-on to the Last of Us Part 2, but it got so big that it was eventually decided it would be a standalone title. Sony brought in Bungie to see how it was all going and it looks like they didn't like what they saw and although it's not been cancelled it is now apparently on ice and who knows how these layoffs will affect their upcoming games let's just hope things get back on track as you know Naughty Dog have a pretty fantastic track record and I don't think I could handle another beloved studio going down the pan everyone's favorite tryhard Elon Musk has been testing out a new streaming feature over on X under the burner account at cybergamer420 Hilarious. Mask played Diablo 4 while sat in a dark room with some candles, although sadly didn't dress like this. He used a character called I Will Never Die, played through a tier 100 nightmare dungeon, and stuck to earth skills like Claw and the Earthen Bulwark Shield. And you know, everyone knows I'm not the biggest fan of Mask, but look, I can be a serious journalist. There's some big implications if Twitter, I mean, X becomes a serious player in the streaming space. Could it be a good revenue stream for creators? What would it mean for Twitch and YouTube? These are serious questions that need to be addressed. So let's take a step back and empirically look at Mr. Musk's stream. And oh God, what's happened to his face? It looks like he's been engulfed by the sun. And what is that flickering? Jesus, I hope he gave an epilepsy warning. At least he made a nice PowerPoint presentation about Diablo 4. And oh wait, no, that's just the FPS. Oh God. Also, I have a question. Is he being distracted by a swarm of bees in his room or is his monitor just the size of an IMAX theater? I mean, look at his eyes darting all over the place. You're gonna get neck problems, dude. And look, maybe I'm being harsh. It's the very first stream and X is only a $4 billion company after all. The stream did definitely improve as it went on, which was good news for the thousands of people who tuned in. Although how the platform counts those metrics is a 
little questionable. There currently isn't any live chat function, so it's also not the most engaging way to stream, though I imagine that's on the way, and Musk promised that all those other issues would be fixed. Also, if you want to use the streaming feature, well, it's for premium users only, because of course it is. So going by how things are looking so far, I think I'll just be sticking to Twitch. Borders Gate 3 dev Larian have shaved a cat. Nope, you didn't mishear that, though luckily it's in-game and not IRL. The latest hotfix addressed various bugs and crashes, but let's be honest, no one cared about that. Instead, everyone was talking about His Majesty. On release, His Majesty was a sphinx cat. You know, those weird-looking creasy cats like Mrs. Whiskerson and Mr. Bigglesworth. But that was never meant to be. You see, His Majesty was supposed to have fur, as there was already another sphinx cat in the game called Steel Claw. Apparently, they even had the same model. So, in the third hotfix, Larian fixed the bug and made his majesty look like this. More fur, fewer creases, you get the gist. But you know gamers, we don't like change. Players took to X to voice their frustrations at the new hairier version. At Woods of Twee got the shock of their life when they strolled into work and saw the fur. At Zolto accused Larian of ruining perfection. Perfection. And Harley Cryptid stood up for all sphinxes everywhere by saying hairless cats are just as wonderful as any other cat. Well, it looks like Larian have listened because as of yesterday, His Majesty is back to being wrinkly AF. And just to make the two cats a little different, they've even changed the colour of Steel Claw's eyes. And you know what? I'm going to put my career on the line here and say shame on Larian. Shame on them for caving in to some loud tiny minority of Sphinx Cats lovers. Shame on them for caving in to the Stroke Mob. I thought His Majesty looked rather dapper with a full coat of fur. Plus, look at where he lives, the last light inn in the Shadow Curse lands. Do you think that place looks warm? Do you think Shadow Curses are known for their tropical climate? No, freezing. His Majesty is out there trembling like a chilly little scrotum, all because people couldn't be satisfied with one Sphinx cat being in the game. You know what? I think you should count yourselves lucky for even getting one of those little abominations. I see you out there celebrating like this is some kind of victory. It's not. Shame on you. Shame on you. You might disagree though, and that's okay. We're all friends here. Let us know in the comments down below. And that's the show. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to throw over a like and subscribe. Get the download on yesterday's news right here, and we'll see you tomorrow.